Well, our art guy, Randy Ham is joining me live in the studio today for Baby Friday. Yes, it's Baby <laughs> Friday. It is also Olivia Stevens' seventh birthday. Oh. I wanted to tell her happy birthday. Got a little birthday shout out in this yes. morning. Happy birthday, Olivia. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we have to talk about the bowl thon. I'm yes. told. It has nothing to do with bowling. It has nothing to do <laughs> with bowling. It is actually part of a national program called Empty Bowls. Okay. And uh, local artists come together and they create these ceramic bowls. And you go to the West Texas Food Bank on January 25th hmm. from 7 to 9 p.m. and you buy one of the bowls and it uh, gives you access to unlimited soup. Okay. And all of the proceeds are donated to the West Texas Food Bank to help food insecure people right here in the Permian Basin. That is so incredible. Do you happen to know how this got started out here? Well, you know, uh, I have to give a lot of credit to Chris Stanley, the ceramicist at UTPB, because he really saw the need in the um, in the area, and then he found this national program, and he thought, let's use art to help solve a problem instead of just making pretty pictures or right. you know doing things like that. It's artists giving back to the community by using their skills and their time to help us solve one of uh, the major problems here in the Permian Basin, mm -hmm. and that's food insecurity. So it's really something that I'm very proud of to see the artists come out and and really you know support our community that way. Right. And do you know is this integrated into the ceramics class that they offer, or is this on the artist's own time? It's, it's a little bit of both. Okay. Now, the really cool thing is that Midland College, Odessa College, and UTPB host these, you know, bowl ramas where anybody right. from the public can come in and help make bowls. I've made a few bowls; uh, they're terrible. That's so cool. But it's it's really cool <laughs> it's to okay. see. It's all about the heart. Right. It's all about the heart, and you see all of these different designs, and mm -hmm. everybody paints them differently and makes the bowls different shapes. So uh, every piece that you get is definitely unique. Okay. And it is a piece of the artist's soul right there on your mantelpiece, just like an infinity stone from Avengers. <laughs> I love the parallel that you made right. there. That was perfect. <laughs> and so people can actually purchase these bowls, right? So they're going to be yeah. auctioned at some point. Yeah, and yeah actually. they have different just, themes as well. Yeah. Uh, the artists get to go run wild. They get okay. to do whatever they want. You go and you pay your $15 and you just get to pick one of the bowls that just so for your cool. entry fee. And then uh, food is provided by Sid and Sam's mm -hmm. and uh, they fill up your bowl with soup and you can eat as much as you want. And then all of those proceeds go directly to the West Texas Food Bank and they help feed people right here in the Permian Basin. That is so incredible. Yeah. It sounds like such a great event to be a part of and especially if you want to make a bowl you don't have to necessarily be an artist no yeah. no but you know what everybody is an artist it just depends on how much skill you have and how much time you want to put into it right. um, but everybody's got a little bit of a creative spark in them so you should come out and see if maybe that's what you think you might be able to do it's a lot of fun and you get your hands dirty uh, well I'm so and excited to hear more after a quick check on weather and commercial break so don't go anywhere we'll be back live with Randy Ham. We'll see you soon.